According to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus addressed this parable to those who were convinced of their own righteousness and despised everyone else. Two people went up to the temple area to pray. One was a Pharisee and the other was a tax collector. The Pharisee took up his position and spoke this prayer to himself. Oh God, I thank you that I am not like the rest of humanity, greedy, dishonest, adulterous, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week, and I pay tithes on my whole income. But the tax collector stood off at a distance and would not even raise his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast and prayed, Oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, the latter went home justified, not the former. For whoever exalts himself will be humbled, and the one who humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In order to truly appreciate the Pharisee and the tax collector, we need to understand what society was like in the time and the culture when Christ walked the earth. And the Pharisee was a well-respected leader of the community. The Pharisee was a religious leader in the Jewish tradition. And the Pharisee was one who knew all of the laws 600 plus, 631 or three. And he knew how it was that he was to live his life according to those laws. And as we heard in the, in the gospel today, he was very successful at following the rules and the regulations. So he thought through his own efforts that he deserved the mercy of God, right? Whereas, The tax collector was a fellow Jew working for the occupiers, working for the Romans. The Romans had occupied that area and some of the Jewish community availed themselves to collect taxes on behalf of Rome and pass those taxes on and of course would keep some for themselves, some excess taxes that they collect. So the reputation of a tax collector was one that uh, was not good. They were despised by the community. And so we have this, from the eyes of the community, this Pharisee that we kind of hold in high regard, and we have this tax collector that we didn't hold or they didn't hold in high regard. I thought, how might we better understand that today? Maybe we have a pastor of a church, maybe a deacon, or a priest that knows the the laws and knows the rules of the church. From the perception of the community, we try to live those laws. And we also have maybe on the other side, say a drug dealer. One that uh, kind of uh, lives off of the the community, off the weakness of the community. One that takes advantage of his fellow brothers and sisters. Which, in our community, which one do we hold in high regard? Probably the first, right? Much like the Pharisee as opposed to the tax collector. The pastor as opposed to the drug dealer. But Jesus turns this upside down with the parable because he was really asking us to look inside. Which of these two people is really the one that shows humility and that shows that they know where they are in relation to God. And we see through the gospel that that was the 
sinner, the one who said, have mercy upon me, a sinner. That wasn't the Pharisee, was it? It wasn't the one that the rest of the community would hold in high regard. And I think that's our lesson for today, is what we perceive is not necessarily what Jesus sees. Looking and seeing with the eyes of Christ is a completely different picture. And maybe that's what our call is today, is to recognize that we can identify probably with both of the characters today, both of the, uh, the two people portrayed in the gospel, where maybe sometimes we, because of our own merits, think that we're doing pretty good, maybe better than others, when in fact that's not what God's calling us to be, right? The Pharisee said, well, I'm doing better than that tax collector. Now, is God calling us to be better than the worst? No, in scripture we hear that God asks us to be perfect like the Father is perfect. It's a different set of standards. It's not better than the worst. He's calling us to be here. And the way that we're there is when we recognize, as did the tax collector, that we, each of us here, we are sinners in need of the mercy of God the Father. When we recognize our own weaknesses, when we recognize our own limitations, and not try to justify ourselves by the things that we do well, but rather recognize that it doesn't matter what we do, God's calling us to perfection, to do better, and so when we recognize, when we are humble enough to see that each of us here, every single person here in the church today, we are in need of God's mercy because we fall short. Don't let our perceptions, our observations and our conclusions of who is doing well and who may not be doing well. Because in God's eyes, the question is what's in the heart and how humble are we when we stand before our Father and ask him for his mercy. That's our call today. Christ hears the cry of the humble. He is attentive to the prayers of those who are seeking his mercy. And that's my appeal for you today is let's all approach our Heavenly Father from that perspective of humility, from the perspective of knowing that we seek and we need His mercy for our lives to be full and to be rich and to be on this journey that Christ is calling us to. Perfection, we know we will not reach that, but that is the goal. That is constantly where we're striving towards, such that in the words of the parable today, we will be able to ask God for his mercy because we recognize that we are sinners and we do need the mercy of God our Father.